So this is a true story. It happened years ago. I will now read the script that I have prepared. Don't know why I said it like that, but whatever. <clears throat> this happened at least twice, but I think it was more than, I think it was more. For now, I want to focus on the two times from around 2008, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Both times at night, my mum, who had problems with drugs and alcohol, would ask me for wine every day. Then it went on to two bottles of wine a day, every day. Because I live with her, I felt I couldn't say no. But then, because it was Christmas, she got herself some gin. It had started a few weeks earlier, I can't remember the reason, but that's not important at the moment. She also had a heroin habit. Sometimes I tried to hide when she was, when she, no, something I tried to hide when she was alive, which I did, because it was embarrassing. Still is. <clears throat> Given the fact that she told me ten times a week, I'll stop this. This is the last time. Please just give me the money. This is the last time. Trust me, n never trust an addict. Never trust an addict. They'll always lie to you. It's all a lie. Anyway, it was Christmas Day. We'd had our food, just me and her. Our family had been long estranged at this point, for reasons I won't go into. We probably watched TV, it would have been reruns, probably, you know, like the two Ronnies or whatever. Um, or a film. Possibly a film, I don't know what it would have been though. Maybe as, sorry, but as it got later, my mum went for a sleep. Which wasn't unusual. She usually went went to bed around 6 or 7 at night. And then she'd sleep for a couple of hours. Then, then at 9 or 10, she got back up. So the first thing... So the first night this happened, she went to bed. But then, after maybe half an hour, she came back downstairs. At first, I couldn't understand why she was in a bad mood. When she went to bed, nothing had nothing was said. No crosswords or anything like that. But now she was, now she was, and I didn't notice. But when she came back, I didn't notice at the time. But when she came back downstairs, the temperature dropped. I realised that afterwards, thinking about it. The other strange thing I noticed, but I didn't understand until after the fact, was that was this. Sorry, the TV was on, but the light was off. As I looked at my mum's face, it was almost like she had something over her face. It was it was really strange, like a semi-transparent mask. It was white, but looked semi-transparent, and it also reminded me, in a way, of wet clay. It's hard to describe, and her, but her features were different too, almost sharper in some kind of way. Um, I can't remember what we spoke about, but I do remember she was very aggressive. It wasn't just words, it was coming off her in waves. We could... We would sometimes argue, but this was different. I could sense the malevolence coming off her. After 20 minutes, she went back to bed. Then 15 minutes later, she got back up. But this time, she was back to normal. I was angry now. She couldn't understand why, and it was obvious to me she really had no idea what had happened. So I let it go. Then the next day, exactly the same thing happened. I can't say why it happened. Was it the gin? Maybe the, maybe the gin... Sorry, maybe. Gin is a spirit so called because of the way it changes people's personalities, like they're open to possession. And this is what I believe was the case. I think she was at the time was at the time possessed. I also think it happened in the nineties, maybe even maybe before even. Sometime something was following her, and now I think it's following me. But unlike my mum, I don't give any I don't have any addictions, and I have a strong belief, so I'm able to push it out. But I do think it's around trying to get back in. I've made videos about what I call Nosferatu in the past, so you can watch them if you like. But anyway, tell me what you think and th in the comment section, and thanks for watching. I'm sorry I made so many mistakes then as well. I, don't really, I just couldn't pick the words apart. It was weird. But anyway... I'm not going to redo it, I'll leave it as it is. Thanks for watching, and just tell me what you think. So, bye for now, anyway. Bye.